Hi guys! The upcoming figure skating season kicks off with the Grand Prix, which is six events plus the final in Beijing. After that, you have the European Championships. They're going to be held just at the end of January. You've got Four Continents, which is actually one of my favourite competitions. Uh, that's in February, just after Valentine's Day. And then we have the the biggest competition of the season is the World Championships, and they're in March. Obviously, we're not in the Olympic year anymore. It's in four years from now in Sochi. So not only is this video an overview, I'm also going to discuss the designations. That's who signed up for figure skating for the upcoming season, like who's still in, who's out. But all I like about these kind of videos is that there's so much in the off season. It gives some indication of what people's plans are post Olympic. There's the music choices, there's the potential costumes, there's previews of routines. The Grand Prix events are actually quite close together, there's seven of them, and they're only like a week or two apart in each case. So it's uh, it's good for the fans, I think. Number one, the NHK Trophy. That kicks off the whole thing. And this is where the skaters debut their season. It kicks off on the 22nd of October. The kind of big names are going to be Mawasada, Rachel Flash, Ashley Wagner, and Caroline Zhang. The first event of the Grand Prix is just, I love it because it really sets the tone for what's to come. Obviously being an Olympic year last year, the first event of the season was really Una Kim stamping her mark. Triple Lutz, triple toe, she's never done it in competition and that's how she begins her Olympic season. And do you remember when Una Kim walked out onto the ice in her James Bond costume? In that little uh, one strap black number and just blew everybody away. The second event is Skate Canada, so you're bringing it back to the American side of things. That's just at the end of October around Halloween. The biggest name there is Alyssa Sisney. She, I hope she owns that event. Next is the Cup of China, which is early November, and it is when Yuna Kim makes her debut. She's up against Miki Ando, Mariah Nagasu, and Akiko Suzuki. I think, and I really hope, that Mariah Nagasu gives Yuna Kim a run for her money. Not because actually Yuna Kim is one of my favourite skaters, but I just have this thing for Mariah. I want you on tour always to get out and go and just win. The next one we have is Skate America. It's going to be an American affair. The two big names there are Rachel Flatt and Caroline Zan. The fifth event is the Cup of Russia. The big name there again is Yuna Kim with another match at Mickey Ando. We also have Ashley Wagner and Akiko Suzuki. The last one is the one nearest to me in Ireland. Uh, the Trophy Eric Bompard in Paris in France. Uh, Mao Asada, Fumi Isiguri and Alyssa Sisney. It's interesting to note that Mao opens the season in NHK Trophy. She's on home territory there. Bar any major accidents, she's got it. She also closes the season in Paris. Uh, Yuna Kim has her events quite close together. Number three and event number five. After those six, you then have your final with the top six skaters in each discipline. And as I said, you've got three or four more events after that. You've got Europeans, you've got four continents, you have Worlds, and you also have the US National Championships, which I personally like watching. So we still have a very long time to go. We have four months to go until the season kicks off. Uh, that's just a brief overview. Uh, I'm going to try and get better at these videos. I'm not too good at them yet. Hopefully my fringe will have grown out by then.